So today we're going to talk about the Salisbury Plain 1917 tree, trees picture. Um, can you tell us how the picture came about? Yeah, that picture, the picture of the trees on Salisbury Plain, yeah, that was, we were just scouting for locations for 1917 and um, uh, we were looking for mainly the opening landscape where the two soldiers are leaning against a tree or asleep under a tree and then, you know, we take them from there and gradually it reveals that they're on the, behind the lines and they end up in the trenches. Um, so we had been there and we've decided those, the trees that are on the left of the frame in the, in, in the photograph are the ones that open the film. And then uh, I just remember, I just love that tree that's what was the main subject of the photograph, which is like this tree is being strangled by this ivy. And it, it was just such a beautiful image. Um, so at the end of the day, we'd finished scouting and um, I just stayed on for a little bit and took a few photographs, simple as that really. Just as the light was going down, it was really, really quite late. So the photograph was really for you, not for the scout? Oh, it was nothing to do with the scout, yeah. yeah you no, just happened to be there? Yeah, it was just something I saw, saw that I just kind of thought, oh, that's, that's a really nice image. You know, it's funny, I don't often take images that are just images. You know, I usually like to juxtapose sort of ideas in a frame, but this was just purely, it was just lovely shapes and the mm -hmm. light was great. And, mm. and you did you take different framings of it or just? I, I took a few actually, yeah, because I also took some of um, actually what ended up being the lone tree that's in the mm -hmm. final scene of the film. I took a couple of shots of that just as the light was going as well. But again, not related to the movie because I like the image. 